Uh, this next one here, uh, well, we've got cosecants and secants. Uh, maybe better to write it with sines and coses. Um, let's try that. So I'm going to write this as 1 over sine squared x times cos squared x. Well, there's no identity there. Here I'm going to write this as 1 over sine squared x plus 1 over cos squared x. Well, at least I have the right factors in the denominator. I have one fraction, two fractions. So let's make that into a common one fraction. And when we make this into one fraction with a common denominator, the denominators match left side and right side, which is something that's definitely the right, we're going in the right direction. So I'm going to multiply by cos squared over cos squared and sine squared over sine squared to get my denominator of sine squared cos squared. Okay, well, that's the Pythagorean identity, that's equal to one, and then that makes my left side look like my right side. Okay, there we are, we've proved our identity. So this one here, uh, this looks, we got tans and coses all over the place. Um, yeah, and we got A's and B's as well. So that's a bit of a mess. However, if we recognize that this is actually the sum identity for co for sine, and this is the sum identity for cosine, this is sine cos plus sine cos, cos cos minus sine sine. So that's gonna be my double angle, or sorry, the sum identity. So I'm gonna write this like this. Sine of A plus B over this is going to be cosine of a plus b. Okay, well, well, if that's the case, that really means this is a tan of a plus b. And in fact, this is the tan, the addition identity for tan, but let's actually prove it. Okay, so let's convert this to sines and coses. So I'm going to, I'm actually going to prove it for sines and coses. So let's convert it to sine a over cos b at cos a plus sine b over cos b and that's going to be 1 minus sine a over cos a sine b over cos b okay and so there is my fraction and let's work that out here, uh, let's multiply everything by sine a or cos a cos b. That will get rid of both those denominators and we'll do that same on the bottom. Okay, so those will cancel out with those. So what we end up with is those cos a's cancel, so we end up with sine a cos a. And, oops, that's going to cancel out the denominator, plus cos b's cancel, so we end up with sine b cos a. Okay, if I multiply this out, I'm left with the denominator cancels out. Oh, the sine a, sine b. Okay, so there it is. Uh, in fact, we've just generated, we didn't actually need to generate that identity. We can just show it like that. So we can say that now left side equals right side. All we did here was actually convert this into sines and coses and multiply, get rid of those denominators to make that into one fraction. Okay. Uh, this did happen to work out to be a double, a sum identity for tan. So that we remember that this actually worked out to tan of a plus b. Uh, I don't think this is on your formula sheet, but if you want to add it to your formula sheet, this is actually the sum identity for tan. Okay, so that's a very useful, uh, that is, it's not as useful as the other identities, but that is, this is actually, in fact, an identity. And if you want to add that to your formula sheet, go right ahead, because that does come in handy at some point.